What are you doing, Loke Master? Here it comes. Coming in hot. What are you doing, Loke Here it comes. Ready? Two, one. Y'all ready to go for a ride in the car? This is my happy space. It's moving day. Okay. It's moving day. We got everything put away inside for the most part. We got just a few more things to put away, but now's the million dollar. Are you guys ready for travel day and to go hook up on the outside? This is ready as you get. I know. I mean, Cooper's got his toys there. He's watching Frosty, and it's January, because somebody loves Christmas. I don't know who that might be. Hey, Coop. Are you ready? I'm going to take that as a solid no. I think that's a solid, solid no. Cooper. You don't want to go for a car ride? In this episode, we're going to show you how to dump your tanks. You're going to have a black tank and a gray tank. Always, 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 the first tank you're going to want to dump is the black tank. And the reason for that is you want to get all the number twos and ones out. And then you're going to use the soapy water, which is, comes from your gray tank, comes from your sinks, comes from your, your showers, all that soapy dish water. That's what's going to clean out the rest of the black tank water. So first thing you want to do is come over here and find which tank it's labeled. We got it labeled gray and black tank. Most rigs are going to be clearly labeled. Um, so there's no confusion for us. We have two gray though. Yeah, we got two grays. One gray is going to be for our kitchen sink strictly. And the other gray tank is for our bathroom sink and shower, which is our middle, which is the middle valve and our kitchen is over here. So for us, we're going to do the black tank first. Make sure key point here, please, please, please make sure that you are hooked up with a sewer hose we're going to let you guys know in a later video how to do that show you how to do that how to set it up but for now make sure you're hooked up and go ahead and pull this valve open and yeah. duty so it doesn't look pleasing but just so you guys have a rough idea of how this works people think it's complicated Daddy, it's really not yeah it's really not you just open the Daddy. valve let the juices flow shut the valve and then you're going to open the next valve and so on and so forth so we're going to sit here ours takes about depending on how full it is probably just about two to three minutes to drain and this is an important part so i always recommend having two hoses one hose is going to be for your city water connection and the other hose is going to be strictly for washing things and flushing out your black tank so not all rigs have a black tank flush our first travel trailer did not but this one most of the big rigs they're gonna have a black tank flush valve right here, so go ahead and hook up a separate water hose. Not and your drinking water. Not hose. your drinking water, that's gross. So on my RV it's lefty tidy righty loosey instead of righty tidy lefty loosey. It's backwards. And that threw me off for the longest times, so but alright, once you got everything connected good and snug. You're going to go ahead and open your black tank valve. Now that is very, very important. You want to have your black tank in the open position before you do this, because if you don't and you start pumping water into the sanit sanitized valves, it's going to cause a poopy volcano inside and it's yeah. going to be gross. Nobody wants that. No, you don't want to do that. So now we're back. Cooper's went potty. You're going to go over here to your wet bay and see where it says sanitize. Make sure all these nozzles line up. So I'm gonna have to push the white down here. Red over, green over. Now that you've done that, come back over here to your water hose and let the juices flow. And it's gonna start sanitizing that tank inside for us. This is why we like a clear connection so you can see when it's done dumping. Another good point of when you do your black tank flush, you get everything, we don't do it every time we, we leave or we drain but probably every three times i dump i want to try to hook up and, and clean the tanks out if i can because just sitting here watching this thing it's it's got some chunks that went that just didn't come Ew, out the first time. yeah yeah i mean everybody goes Ugh. number two so it really flushes that tank out real good and lets it just clean it cleans it out puts a lot of fresh water in it now if you don't have a hookup this rig and Daddy. most rigs you can hey buddy 
You can pull from your freshwater tank and, and sanitize as well. You don't have to hook up. Peach. Is that pee pee? And doo doo? And Pete. Yeah? Pete. Pete? What? What are you pointing at? Pete. Huh? That's the wet bay. That's, yeah. that's the control panel for all the juices. You know? Yeah, what is that? A doo doo. And what else? A doo doo. Is it just doo doo? Or what about pee pees? Pee pees. Pee pees and doo doos. Pee pee doo doo. Yeah. Is it sink water? Say sink water? No, okay. No. You're right. So once you're done and you feel good about it, you know, you're not seeing as many things come through your sewer hose here. Go ahead and turn your water off from the valve. And let everything go through the line there. Once you get your water turned off, go ahead and come back over to your wet bay and go back to your Daddy. city water Daddy. connection there. Daddy. Okay. Daddy. So the water's Daddy. gonna quit draining. Hey buddy, how are you? I know. It's a wrench. It's for the X chalks. That's what we use for taking the stuff out of the tires there. Daddy. I know, Daddy. you're crazy, aren't you? So once you got that all done, make sure your valve, your black tank valve stays open Daddy. for another 30 seconds or so. Let everything finish draining. You don't want any back upage. Back up. Cooper, Cooper, Cooper. Thank you. Make sure your valve is shut. I know, buddy. People. I know you see your fishing pole, don't you? So this is the gray water. This is why I like the clear connection because you can see it. Once everything is done flowing, which you're gonna have a clear sight right here of what's going on. Okay. Once you don't have anything going on anymore. Come over here and push the valve back into the closed position, which is always going to be furthest towards the wet bay. Open, you pull out to close it, you can push it in, and then we're going to open up one of our uh, gray tanks at a time. I don't open both at the same time. There may be people out there that do that, I don't. Um, if you are one of those people, leave me a comment down below and tell me why you do that or what's the benefit of doing that over just one at a time because we're still learning so if we can learn a tip from one of you guys that'd be awesome so let us know once your gray tank is emptied out go ahead and do the same process you did for the black shut that valve all the way make sure it's completely shut sorry guys didn't realize i didn't have a smoother closing for this video i totally just did what we had to do and walked away but that is exactly how we dump the black and gray tank if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button it does help the channel out a great deal i hope you enjoyed it and we will see you next time. Why are you recording me with that phone? Really? Are you really recording me with that phone? You can't do that. It makes me so weird. <laughs> Crazy, man.